Before we begin, I just wanted to honor Pastor Lee Martinez. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak behind your sacred desk. I appreciate you and I look forward to sharing this message. Now this message is called Sharing Through Serving. Our subject is sharing the gospel through not only our words, but our actions. So sharing through serving others. In order to share the gospel, we have to speak and share it to please God and not man. When we are trying to speak into other people and we are trying to share our faith and our testimony and evangelize to others, we have to do so in a way that we're pleasing God and not man. We're not telling them what they want to hear so that we win their favor. We're truly coming from a place of truth in order to do so. Something that will be true and pleasing to God. We have to be with the fear of the Lord. Have purity. Have purity of our intention and speak plainly. We cannot speak in riddles or speak these complex thoughts and ideas and in turn actually hurt the gospel because the gospel of Christ is very simple. We sometimes tend to make things more complicated than they need to be. So we have to be aware of what we're doing and really focus on making sure that we're speaking very clearly, plainly, and that they're understanding. Sometimes when we speak, we have the the problem of running into miscommunication where we will think it came out one way, but they received it a different way. So we have to keep that perception in mind. Always clarifying with questions, always giving them the opportunity to have questions. Nurture, have compassion, and genuinely care for those you're serving. I don't know about you, but if I'm even at a restaurant, if someone's coming up to serve me, I can already tell if they want to be serving me or not. And that can also be felt when a non-believer is being approached by a believer to share their faith or serve them in a way. They can tell whether or not instantly if that person really genuinely wants to take care of them and help them. We need to share the truth of the gospel of God by living the gospel out in love. Now these, these points are all taken from 1 Thessalonians. The text is 1 Thessalonians. So that's 1 Thessalonians 2.8. Share the truth of the gospel of God by living out the gospel in love. When we operate in love in our day-to-day -day actions, even when we believe that people are not even watching us, they are. And more often than not, you could have an instance where you have a huge scene at Walmart with the cashier, and then later down the road, the people in line, you're trying to evangelize to them, and they're like, wait, isn't that the lady that was crazy in Walmart? So operating in love constantly and being more mindful of others. That way, when it comes time to minister to others and to serve them, you're able to do so with a clear testimony. Work hard, be devout, righteous, and blameless as believers so others may testify and bear witness of your good works in Christ. Now that's found in 1 Thessalonians 2, 9 through 10. So we want to be blameless. We want people to be able to have testimony of our actions towards them, of our love towards them, and the way that we were actually serving them in Christ. If we're serving in Christ, but we're doing it out of a dark place, in a hurt place, rather than a place of love, then that testimony is going to be a corrupted testimony. Encourage comfort and be a living example of how to walk worthy of God. Like I mentioned earlier, now this is found in 1 Thessalonians 11 and 12. As I mentioned earlier, when we're living our daily lives, it will speak louder than any words. We can say that we love someone, but if the second they turn their backs, we're trying to trip them, that's a problem. <laughs> that's not something we would normally do to people we genuinely love. So operating and living according to how Christ showed us as an example is the best way to serve others. He showed us that as we serve others, that's the true greatness in the kingdom of God is our ability to serve, to stay humble, to stay meek, and be able to submit our will to others. So I pray that these points edified you and will help encourage you in your walk, that you will be able to share the gospel, not only with your words, but with your actions in your daily life. God bless you.